in here to Chief Nongonyan, talking to Sir Ramaphosa, saying that as traditional chiefs and kings, whatever that you call them, they deserve to be allocated a budget beyond what they are getting at the moment. Look, I for one, I don't have a king. And I don't believe that there is someone with a superior bloodline than mine. I'm a God's child too. And they're amazing. All these guys, they all believe that they were ordained by God. Such is fiction and it can never be proven. And I think that as South Africans, there comes a time where we must decide. Do we need both the chiefs, indunas, traditional leaders and politicians at the same time? Both claiming to be doing the same thing or occupying same roles. We can't afford duplications and dual roles. And both of these guys, politicians and traditional leaders, depending on the politicians, let me not use depending, overburdening the taxpayers. Yeah, maybe back in the days, some will argue that the land was taken from the chiefs, kings. I know that history. But now, in the now, what is the role of the kings and the chiefs? Because majority of them, they use municipal services. I'm leaning towards politicians more because at least with politicians, I can remove them. There are many kings and chiefs who are so retarded, retarded, retarded. And they add no value. I can ask maybe someone who's been paid handsomely so. The Zulu king. What's the value there? Other than holding people's land into ransom, Ngonyama Trust, which is not helping anyone. Ngonyama Trust. And all this trust. Let's not understand. Majority of these guys, they are there by bloodline. I mean, I cannot rule me by bloodline. At least politicians. It's people or people power. People talking and saying, you know what, we want one, two, three. And if you are not happy, at least, at least, people can remove you. Or there's that fiction theory that they can remove you and put whatever or whoever is going to represent them. You can never rule me by bloodline. And the majority of these guys, other than refurbishing their houses, buying cars, getting married, what value do they add into society? Maybe we need to have that debate. We can't have both. We can't have chiefs, kings, isn't it? For what? In daughter and daughter, my sister, my sister, I'm in a gang. Shabu by it. I'm going to talk to No. No. No, 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 no. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. And then you hear this fool saying that municipality, it's a Western concept. We need to go back to our African values. This chief Nongonyan, he's a Mickey Mouse. He's wearing a shirt that was not produced here. Some of them wearing a visage, driving expensive German cars, eating food from Brazil. And everywhere outside the country, I'm a free job. But he's going to tell you that we need to go back to African values. You can never be 100% African. Never, never, ever. Life is not static. Even during the days of Oshaga, they were evolving. There are words that did not exist. Values, culture that did not exist prior to Ushag. Even he himself, he introduced new things, new culture. Hence, he shocked the people. But wow, we've never seen this before. And some of the things they are borrowed from other cultures. Today, our society is so complex. 
You can never be 100% anything. There's medication that come, comes from Brazil, India, China, USA. The cell phone that I'm using is not from here. The car that I'm driving, television. Then you hear someone saying 100% African, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you can think, you know, because they really need a brain transplant. Like that chip, Nongonya. They just want to chow money. You know, he was ousted from South by another king, King Jordan, who's the president of South. Now he's another king, sitting on a position for eternity. Hmm. But anyway, there are so many kings in our politics. Like we've seen, Abu Mangosut, he was a king of Ingat. Olumisa is a king of UTM. Teralcott is a king of Cope. Reverend Moshe is a king of that Christian Democratic Party. He has so many kings, yeah. He has so many kings. They're kings, these guys. They rule for eternity. But at least they've got a constituency who say, you know, it's okay. But they are good. And there are people who should fund them, not us. They use services provided by municipalities, roads, and everything. Have you ever had a king giving people jobs other than making them slaves? Fanaba Fundis, Shine Gaus, King Yok Shine Gaus, Yok Shad, and Ning Ning Ning. And I mean, I looked at that VBS king, Ubani, 20 people. That guy, to be honest, with due respect, I know that I'm a vendor, will hey, cry foul. He looks retarded. Now, what was Walton? What you have a big sister grand? Ah, I'm an American nomad. Jenga de Boshi with the Piminza, Kunjuban, with that in Jeb. I mean, you were the leader simply because he was born there. You can't remove him. I know they'll say that there is a council, traditional council. We are not party to that. We the people, we are not party to that. I mean, I have no king. I have no king, Yogwenzan. No, I have no king. Even if I was living back then, maybe I was living back then. Yes, at some point, we need to be free, man. We need to be free. Ha! Singapore, I'm afraid. From slavery, colonialism, apartheid. Yes, I understand the role of the kings. They played a very magnificent role in the past. But now we can't have two. President, king, chief, premier, mayor, local councillor. No, that's too much. Yeah, I think here in Africa we needed a French Revolution. Nabuma Russia, when they took over and they executed every so-called bloodline by Bulal. Therefore, that problem was solved. Agna Mutozo Vela one day, I'm a rightful heir. And the majority of these fools, they collaborated with apartheid. And most of them, in that chieftain, chieftaincy thing, yeah, they are not rightful heirs. They were installed there by apartheid. Majority of them have no clue. No clue at all. I have a little bit of 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 a little